637 here on BT. We head back over to 680 News and say good morning again to Richard Southern with the latest on business. Richard. Hi, Tammy. Good morning to you. You were just talking about the Ontario government's plan to uh, push back the storefront retail for cannabis until April. How is that, how is that going to affect the marijuana stocks on Bay Street? Are they going to lose out on some money because of it? We heard from Aaron Sauls this morning. He's one of the big advisors to the Canadian cannabis industry. And he says, no, this is actually pretty positive. They just opened up the largest market in the country for private retail. The six-month delay will be meaningless in the long term. We're going to keep an eye on those pot stocks today. We also heard this morning, by the way, from job website Indeed. It says Canadians are answering weed want ads in a big way. Job searches for that industry four times higher than they were a year ago in most of the jobs in Ontario. Well, The Economist this morning is in with its annual list of the most livable cities in the world. They look at everything from infrastructure, education, transportation. Topping the list, Vienna, Austria, the most livable city this year, according to the magazine. Melbourne was second, Osaka, Calgary, Sydney. Toronto, number seven on the list. Can't have the best without the worst, though. The least livable cities, according to The Economist, Dakar, Senegal, Algiers, Algeria. The Cameroon capital, Tripoli, Libya, and Harare, Zimbabwe. Anthony Bourdain, his um, apartment in Manhattan up for rent now less than two months after the celebrity chef passed away. Two bedroom, two bathroom, 14200 a month, only 1200 square feet for that apartment. Finally, when I get to this last story, it's really interesting. And if you wear glasses, you might think, hey, I might need that. A new pillow is out designed for people who wear glasses. It is called the Lacey Pillow. And as you can see, you know, you get your glasses get all messed up when you lie down. Maybe you've woken up like that. Well, the new pillow has kind of a cutout in it whereby your glasses can fit in and you can sleep without you bending them or hurting them. 79 bucks for the lacy pillow and roger i don't know if you wear glasses i wear glasses and you don't know the pain Wait. of falling asleep on the couch unless you wear glasses would you do you really you don't sleep with your glasses on though well, do you? like you don't fall asleep like this but you know if you're watching tv maybe you lie down on the couch right or you're lying yeah, down in your bed but... on your phone or something like that you can't do it with glasses on you don't know the pain roger <laughs> you don't this sounds like a little therapy session for you you can talk <laughs> off air if you want help you through this you gonna buy one of the pillows? I think I might have to buy a pillow. I've got All the right. contacts in right now, but otherwise I got the old specs on, Roger. Go order it right now, Richard. Thanks I'll very much. It. Thanks.